Hello guys, welcome to another video for Dawn of War Dark Crusades. Today uh, I decided to record a uh, random game just picked from uh, the folder. Over 30 minutes long. So I hope we'll have some nice action here. Not the best matchup though, Space Marines vs Eldar on Battle Marshes. And it's played... Um, Wait a second, cannot load the replay, just for some reason. Okay, it starts now. So we have in team 1 Bye Bye Joe with Eldar, I don't know his main account. And in team 2, if you lose you suck, uh, this being X Veishi. There have been quite a few games with him on uh, this channel already, so you probably know him. A good Space Marine player. On the top side we have uh, a Bye Bye Doe. Eldar player starts with Two builders, uh, very standard opening here with a generator, uh, goes rangers against space marines, good option. And three guardian squads. We will fulfill our duty. Command me to build. And researches fleet of foot as well. Goes to harass with the guardian squads. Not a very common option in uh, this matchup. Uh, most common uh, versus Chaos. He might do a nice decap here. Space Marines goes for Assault Space Marines, right? Yeah. Scouts uh, were denied capturing this point. They have to go get this one. Three Scouts and Assault Marine Squad from Veishi. Objective. A pretty painful harass by these warlocks. Uh, Space Marine is losing a lot of time and economy because of this uh, Guardian squad. Fleet of foot almost up. I don't know what what Rangers are doing in here. No idea. They should be uh, hunting the scouts uh, this time. It's the second minute already. And they are running in this base. What is going on? Two guardian squads at home for Elder are more than enough to capture the points. So yeah, he can use this just for harass. Also keeps this assault marine squad busy. Uh, the assault space marines usually have to go and uh, hunt these bone singers or the cap. Instead, they uh, were forced to fight these uh, warlocks back from the Space Marines base. And here we have the Rangers now. They have uh, killed a scout, apparently, or maybe more than one. And uh, decapped this point. Not sure if it was captured though. And Assault Marines killing a bone singer on this. Elder point. What is your the burden of leadership lies with us. What would you have us do? What would you have us do? You cannot. Uh, again, Rangers idling for some reason. Not the best control from Eldar in this game. Our is uh, particularly the use of uh, Rangers. They are mostly idling. And these Guardians should be capturing this point. Uh, Dark Reaper's stone was researched. Well, he wants to add more units to his army. But he is struggling to control even these ones that he has. He has four squads of ranged... Uh, 
uh, units, three guardians and rangers, that's a lot to control. And he struggles with that, as you can see. Not easy, though, to control this on two sides. Have a skull that can detect now those rangers. It actually was out for uh, quite some time. And the Dark Reapers, more more ranged uh, squads from Elder. Will this help him? Well, he can defend with this army for sure. It's a very strong army now. A very strong army from Eldar. And just assault, just two assault space marine squads from Veishi. So far. Let's see his map. 86 to 10 economy. A good map control. Uh, better than Eldar's map control. And this is also a good map for assault space marine use. My lord, scouts in position. Second relic almost captured by Veishi. Salt Marines have a lot of HP, they can tank and push this army back if they want. But yeah, Elder could have done a much better job with his micro. We have a decap on this side. Is it even worth it? A lot of uh, assault marines will die. Yeah, I don't think this was worth it. Maybe he will even lose the squad. Only one assault marine left. And we have plenty of them dead. That's a lot of resources uh, lost. On this point, it uh, delays Elder's economy, but... At what cost? This point should be upgraded. Especially when you build a generator nearby. You have to upgrade the LP2 and another decap. Three squads of assault space marines, by the way. Veishi really wants to force this other player to micro a lot. And I think this is the right thing to do. You have to force Elder to micro his army, keep him busy. If you allow him to tag safely and uh, do not cause any problems for him. Eventually he will come up ahead, I think. Constantly reinforcing on the assault marine squads and all of them. And uh, Veishi is mostly fighting under... Uh, LP2s or uh, Elder Infantry Fire. So yeah, he invests a lot of resources in these Assault Marines. He is on the way to Tier 2, upgrades LP2s. Only one LP2 so far being upgraded. And a heavy bolter turret. This might be good, it will also detect uh, the Rangers. Veishi won't have a problem with these units on this side anymore, and he controls this side of the map. He eases up his life a bit. He can bring this uh, assault marine squad on the other side if he wishes. And we also have tier 2 for Eldar now. I've seen the Arle Queen right here. Will this Arle Queen manage to catch the assault space marines? That's the question. If Veishi will be careful. He won't uh, get nearby this Arla Queen. He should just jump away. 
or run away. And another jump. Not the best jump though. Well, he just destructs Elder's army. Still a good job. Added the sergeant. They have plasma pistol. And more upgrades for the Space Marines. Grey Knight on the way. Good job so far by the Space Marine, as I've said previously. Um, Alder is having a problem with uh, Micro. He could have done a much better job in Tier 1 with these Guardians and Rangers. A lot of that time Rangers were just idling instead of uh, hunting the scouts. Especially that they had this infiltration. And Rangers with the infiltration is a nightmare for scouts in the early game. And this is one of the reasons why Elder is so much more powerful than Space Marines. It's because of the Rangers that can kill those scouts in the early game. Still, a lot of action to come in this game, we're only 10 minutes into it and not even half of the game passed. Good economy for uh, Space Marine 140-30, here we have the Fire Dragons, we'll destroy this easily. And might then succeed to kill this, Veshi needs a... Uh, He needs an assault marine squad on this side to fight the fire dragons in close combat. And he needs the assault marines uh, because they have enough, good enough mobility to catch these uh, fire dragons and kill them. Or at least force them to run away. Even scouts could be good at tying up these uh, fire dragons, but I don't really see the scouts. Only one squad here. Probably only one scout squad alive at this point. Good job by Veishi. He did not allow Elder to decap this point. That's a big advantage. If this gets decapped, he only has one scout squad, so it might take quite a while for him to recapture the point again. So he jumped a bit late, but still could be worse. Now with the chaplain out and the Grey Knights, they will be able to fight Elder's infantry. And Veisha will tank with these assault marines. Where is he going? He wants to scout the base. Grey knights are uh, running for the guardians in close combat. That's very strange. They better just shoot them instead of for losing time and run for them. And again we have the guard, uh, these uh, fire dragons on the other side harassing. That's a big pain for Veishi. He should have left a, yes, an assault space marine squad on this uh, side. No need to bring three of them in the Elder's base. Warp Spider is now out for Eldar. He has 74 to 40 economy. That's a very bad economy and requisition for Eldar. Three LP2s though, this keeps him alive for a while. Maybe research the global upgrade on requisition and stop uh, doing these Falcons. Because Assault Marines have those crack grenades so they can destroy the Falcons very quickly. I think two grenades would be enough to destroy a falcon. And still crazy harass by the fire dragons going on in here. 
They destroyed and decapped this point. Finally. Scouts tying them up. And Veishi has to get in here with all of his army and try and fight. Fight back the fire dragons. And he runs away. Yeah, Veishi had to regroup. That's a strong army from Elder now with the Warp Spiders, Dark Reapers and Rangers. He probably has the optics also and he goes for the global upgrade. Good job. And builds the Listening Shrine. Will work on improving his economy. And here we have the Assault Marines fighting the Falcon. Probably the crack grenades are still on cooldown, so it couldn't be using the Falcon yet. So the Grey Knight that casted the ability just got killed by the Warp Spiders, so... No damage being dealt in this area. That's a big pain for Veishi. Will he survive this attack? Loses a lot. Uh, the chaplain barely survives and that's good. If the chaplain gets killed this could be over. And what are these three assault marine squads doing on the other side? They probably had to deal with the falcon. But two squads at best could be enough in here and just keep one on the other side. He needs these assault marines to tie up the warp spiders. Both players have done a great job at distracting each other. Elder distracted uh, space marines constantly with those fire dragons and falcon. And Veishi in the early game with the assault marines. That's crazy firepower now from Eldar player. Still, Space, Marine, Space Marines can deal with that. Uh, no three full Warp Spiders yet, and that's good. That's that what I was talking about earlier. You just have to keep one Assault Marine squad on this side and defend against these Fire Dragons. Now he saved his listening post. I barely saved it though, very low HP. A use of the chaplain was... Uh, the chaplain's ability was used on this war spider, slowed down and killed many of them. 60 to 15 for one warp spider, that's very expensive. Space marines with heavy bolters. Nicely done, saves the Assault Marines. And he, he needs to tie up these Dark Reapers as well. Crazy fight so far, back and forth. And now Elder with three Warp Spider squads. That's very risky now for Veishi. He has to be careful. Not the best jump, but okay. And he has overwatch on those uh, warp spiders. 82 to 39 income for Eldar. And this is his map vision. Needs to build this listening shrine as soon as possible. And I've got crazy stuttering for some reason. A common issue for me with uh, Den of War 1. No idea why. Knight is 60-30. Economy for Veishi. Close economy for uh, both players. And a mostly tier 2.5 battle. Wait, is this tier 3 optics? 
is other tier 3. I haven't noticed his uh, transition, but probably. I am not sure if this is tier 2 or tier 3 optics. Probably uh, tier 3 optics and that's crazy. The damage from these war spiders will be insane. One hundred and one to thirty. Economy for Vesh against eighty seven to thirty eight. We seek the adventure that only quickly war can blow our enemies numbers. The action slows down for a bit as the players regroup and rework on their economy. A Rhino for Space Marines, this will help a lot against uh, the Warp Spiders. The problem is that uh, Warp Spiders have um, the grenades on tier 3. Not sure if those are researched and those are good grenades against vehicles. A Rhino could go down in seconds. And frag grenades research for the space marines. More LP2s being upgraded. Evasion needs this requisition. Checks this army, is scared and runs back. Are you sure you want to run into this? Here we have the jump with the war spiders, he has to go inside the rhino. And maybe retreat. Actually, if he manages to tie up one uh, warp spider squad, he can fight. One warp spiders uh, failed to jump away. So he lost a few units. Yeah, looks like um, Elder is tier 3, he has a tier 3 optics and now goes for tier 3 armor, plus this Warp Spider's equipment, hey, wire grenades. Effective against vehicles and buildings, that's what I've mentioned earlier. 116-47 economy for Eldar. Strong uh, stuff in Eldar's army. Not that his controls are so good, but his army is very strong, so Vesha struggles to kill it. Even with much better map control, it's not easy. Not easy for Space Marines in this matchup at all. Goes for global upgrade on energy. We are 23 minutes into this game. Vesha needs tier 3. With the Terminators he has a chance against uh, those Warp Spiders. Yes, my lord. I have we stand ready. Needs uh, the Librarian um, ability. And the Terminators. It's possible for him to handle these three Warp Spiders. It is possible, especially with a Hellfire Dreadnought, Space Marine's army is uh, larger. And he can always tie up at least one Assault Marine squad with... I mean, one War Spider squad with the Assault Marines. And because of that, he can keep himself alive. He also harasses on the other side. Kills the Fire Dragons. Seer Council is out. It's actually wielded easily with the Assault Marines, Vesha has to run away. Marine 
Marines getting slaughtered by the Seer Council, as you can see. Four Marines left alive. Veshi probably hasn't even noticed uh, the Seer Council until now, and he finally jumps away. And I like the aggression for, from uh, Veshi. He constantly keeps attacking Eldar keeps him busy and this destruction is crazy it's hard to focus when you get harassed like that more and more army on tier 2 instead of tier 3 I don't even know what's better A faster tier 3 or just mass army for tier 2.5 with the help of dreadnoughts. Yeah, this can fight a tier 3 elder army. You just have a bigger army. And when you feel safe, you go tier 3. Good stuff. Strike quickly. Still, three fully reinforced Warp Spider squads, Fire Dragons, Rangers and Seer Council. Eldar has uh, everything that he needs. He can kill anything with this army. Both infantry and vehicles also tie up or fight the Grey Knights with the Seer Council. Actually, the Grey Knights with the Chaplain can get killed by these Warp Spiders. They just have to jump once and catch those of guard. Fire Prism on the way, this means Elder is tier 4 with 106 to 54 economy. Well, he has a double upgrade on requisition. So he can manage to hit tier 4 even with uh, only 4 strategic points. Now this will be hard to stop for Elder, I think. There's a lot of army from Veishi. But with the help of the Fire Prism, yeah, I forgot about it. With the help of the Fire Prism, uh, Elder has all the chances. He will be able to destroy the Hellfire Dreadnoughts with the Fire Prism, I think. And with the War Spiders, he has the chances to kill the infantry. This Dreadnought maybe should go and deal with these Fire Dragons. As I dream, so shall it be. As I dream, so shall it be. Yeah, crazy attack in here from Veishi. Let's switch to his vision. That's what we have. Yeah, even tier 3 elder army would struggle to kill this army. It's very strong. Only tier 2.5 army from Space Marines. But it's a huge army. Can you stop this? Strength in numbers from Veishi. And it's not over yet. A jump in the back with the warp spiders focusing this space marine squads. Crazy disruption from the fire prism. Still not destroyed. Maybe the dreadnought, this one, yeah, goes and fights it. Nice. One fire prism is down, and another one comes out. And also the rhino has helped a lot in this battle with regrouping and retreating.
And that's only tier 2.5 Space Marines. Very good usage of uh, Space Marines potential on tier 2. And a lot of float from Veja. He has to click that tier 3 button right now. And during this time, regroup and remake his army. He is floating a lot. Can you see this? Over 800 requisition and over 400 energy. Was mostly focused on this fight, but this float is unforgivable. What are you doing? 1000 requisition float. I mean, you can cannot even say uh, he has lost because of balance, if that would be the case. He just has to use the resources. Chaplain on the way. Yeah, he only remakes his army, he doesn't even go to R3. He reacted too slowly to his float. But nothing lost for him yet. And what do we have? 8 to 53. Economy for Elder, still strong army alive. We have the Rangers, Fire Dragons, captured the Relic finally. Seer Council with the Farseer, Fire Prism, Warp Spiders. How does Veshi survive? Good comeback from Elder, and that's mostly because of Space Marine's float. Why in the world would he float up to 1000 requisition in this matchup? Now he has to try really hard to get back into this game. Also, while uh, Fire Dragon is destroying his economy slowly. Still not over yet. Fire Prism will go down. And that's... That's half of the job done. Now he has to deal with the World Spiders. Two squads. And he can deal with them. But then look at this economy 67 to 19. And I doubt Veishi will be able to get back into this game with such a low economy. He does not have even one global upgrade, I think. And at this point in time you really need at least one global upgrade for acquisition. Because the longer the game goes, the less um, requisition you have. Because uh, the strategic points go red, as you can see this red color it means it's mo almost exhausted. This point from resources, if someone's decaps the point and then you recapture it, it's, it's back to normal. So in longer games it's uh, better to not decap enemies' points, just leave them destroyed, do not decap. And uh, if the game is over 30 minutes long, I think it's better. So at this point I would say Elder wins, his economy is much better, he is tier 4 and he has a huge army on this side. But, strange things may happen. One mistake, and it could be the other way around. Some very annoying pathing in here. Stronghold even might go down. And Vesha now has to defend. Can he defend this base? Warp Spiders 
jump back instantly when they see the Grey Knights. And Vesha manages to save his stronghold. That's good. And the chaplain dies, what, uh, Grey Knights will probably die as well. Big loss for Space Marines, he needed that chaplain. A very important hero in this matchup. He can regenerate HP for uh, your army. Yes. Yeah, painful game now for Veishi, he could have won when he went with a big attack on this side. But the float. I'm not sure what even caused that float, maybe he was away from keyboard for a while, who knows. Nobody knows, I guess, by now. Anything can happen. So we have 120 to 46 for Eldar against 64 to 9. Awful economy for um, Space Marines indeed, he did not take care of his economy in the long run, no global upgrades, he only has the global for energy I believe, I've noticed when he clicked on it, and now we have Avatar for Eldar, yeah. Now there's no way Veishi can win this army. No way he can kill it with his tier 2.5 marines. So yeah, I guess this is over. He will see the avatar and quit. Yeah, there we go. This is over. Avatar smashing these Grey Knights easily. Nice fatality. And no comment on Eldar. Veshi quit the game. And what I've said earlier. I think he won because of the float. I mean, um, Eldar won because of Veshi's float. Veshi obviously lost of his float. It was crazy. Almost 500 energy and 1000 requisition. He was mostly focused on this side, did not use his resources, did not transition to tier 3. No terminators, so yeah. I think he lost because of that, not because of the Elder's strength. Although they are uh, stronger in this matchup, I know. But Veishi probably was the better player in this game. And he should have won. He could have won if not for uh, the float, in my opinion. Alright, let's get a look at um, the stats as always. 225 units killed by Eldar, 165 by Space Marines. This is not a bad result for this matchup. And we had more resources gathered by Veishi. Yeah, he had better map control for the entire game. And better technology, mostly because of the reinforced units and the upgrades in uh, those space marines. The bolters, uh, missile launchers and so on. So yeah, that's it. I think Veishi lost this because of his float and not because of the... Elder's strength. He could have won, in my opinion, if he retreated on time and transitioned to tier 3 without floating. That's it for now, guys. Thank you all for watching. I know it's been a long uh, time since my last upload. But here we go. More videos will be coming soon. Stay tuned, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time.